everyone I hope you're all feeling okay today and if you're not feeling well I hope you feel better very soon we bring you down a little bit there we go I've got my gorgeous Sophie with me today say hi everybody and she's got this lovely little doggy with her today beautiful little doggy that my dear friend Carrie sent to me when she did my owls. He's absolutely gorgeous and I love him, really love him. And so does Sophie. And they've come on to do our new theme for the week, which is pets. So it can be any kind of pet. Cats, dogs, the normal type, mice, rats, snakes, um, <laughs> gerbils, guinea pigs, anything like that just um pets and i hope that you enjoy doing that and thank you all for joining in with my uh bird theme a lot of you did and i'm really really grateful right i'm gonna pop on this gorgeous little girl today this red and green and blue tartan pinafore and it's uh trotter's pinafore and it's got these big white Scotty dogs on it with navy blue bows on. It's a really pretty little um, pinafore dress. And underneath it, I'm going to put a onesie that's got a round collar with a little frill on it. Really nice. And some red shoes pretty red shoes to go with it and two white bows for her hair to go with the Scotty dogs and um, she's got some lovely long white socks on so we're just going to do that for her and have a little chat just pop those down there so there she is I'll take these bubbles out of her hair so yeah how have you all been I hope you've all been okay um, I'm so sorry to hear about the awful storm in America and I hope that you've all stayed safe, all of you out there and I have been thinking about you. I've been having a bit of a tough time myself, not in the same way, but, um, you know, we all have things in life to cope with, don't we? So let me pop these up here a minute. So I don't lose them. Let's have doggy. There we go. We just put doggy there a minute. There we go, sweetheart. Let's just undo this. I think it does at the back, does it? Or does it do at the front? No, oh, it does up at the front. Yeah, we've had lots of things happening here. Um my poor little doggy, seeing as we're doing pets, and you know how much I love my Amber, my little dog, um, she hurt her eye. Um, we don't know how she did it, but she's got a habit of sticking her head in hedges, looking for birds, and she scratched her eye, and it was very, very painful for her, as you can imagine. And we had to take her up to see the vet, who had a good look at her eye. They're really good, our vets. Oh, she's scratching on the door. <laughs> Come on, you. Yeah, she hurt her eye. And we took her to the vet. Come on, so delicious. Love this girl. She is the Macy Sculpt by Andrea Arcello, in case you didn't know. <laughs> so she's an older kit, this one, but and I've had her for a long time. Um, yeah, she hurt her eye, and the, and the vet had a good look at her, put dye in her eye and everything, and said she'd scratched it, and she had a little cyst on her eye. Um, so... We had to get some antiseptic drops for her and some anti-inflammatory medication. Um, and we've been doing that and she's much better. 
before her eye was nearly closed, but now it's open and we, she's such a good girl. Um, when we bathe it and do everything we have to do to it, she's as good as gold. She keeps her eye open so that we can put the drops in and everything. She really is a little superstar. So yeah, it's a lot better. And of course, she is my shadow. She see I disappeared and she's she's come in here to see what I'm doing. But her eye is so much better now. We were really worried about her. But yeah, she's doing okay now, thank goodness. And then on the same day that happened, our central heating broke. Now it's really chilly here now. <laughs> You don't want your central heating breaking, so we had to get the emergency um, British Gas out, who we have a um, insurance policy with, and they came out the same day. They were very good, and there is a valve that's leaking, so. He's restored the central heating, but we haven't got any hot water. And this happened on Friday, and we've had no hot water all weekend. Um, mind you, I understand that a lot of people over in America have lost electricity, so I expect you're in the same bit, boat, you know no hot water no no anything so you'll know what i mean um so it's been really difficult you know but they're coming tomorrow i had to order the valve and they're coming back tomorrow and they're going to fix it that means draining all the water system and everything. So it's going to be quite a palaver. But never mind, you know, it has to be done, doesn't it? And of course, because my husband was out of his normal routine, which I try to keep him in because he's suffering from dementia and um, anything throws him out, you know. And so I had a really bad day with him. He can be very cruel and hurtful. And um, yeah, I did my, I wanted to do my video with the twins, but I couldn't talk because if I talked, I would have cried, you know? Uh, sometimes things just get too much for you, don't they? So. But, you know, he seems to be okay today, which was good because I had to go to the dentist today and had a big filling in one of my teeth. So it's kind of been <laughs> one thing after the other here, as it is sometimes um, with life. Um, so it's been difficult, you know. But thank you for all your good wishes and everything. It's nice to know you're all kind of with me at the moment. I need it, you know. There we go, sweetheart. I'll get her thing out. And I wanted to tell you, we went to see The Substance with Demi Moore. Um, when did we go? Thursday night before all this kicked off. Um, what an amazing film. It's a body horror film and it is a very, very angry film. Very, very angry film. It's written and directed by a woman and it's all about how when women age, they're no longer wanted. They're not considered to be beautiful anymore. And Demi Moore gets, is told about this thing called the substance 
that can make you the most perfect you ever. And she but she gets it because she's lost her job. And there's this awful director who, strangely enough, they called Harvey. <laughs> and he was the most gross individual you've ever seen in your life. And he's played by Dennis Quaid. And Dennis Quaid usually plays really lovely people, doesn't he? What do you think of her in that? Doesn't that look adorable? Um, yeah, he normally plays really nice people. I've never seen him in a film where he's been so awful, but he was grotesque in this. Um, and he, um, her toilets are out of order and she goes to, in the men's toilet and she overhears him talking about her. And that's what makes her decide to take the substance and she expects it to make her look better but that isn't the case and it's very very gory in places so if you don't like a lot of love and gore it's definitely not the film for yeah, you sorry about that my husband came in he didn't realize i was filming um i can't remember what i was saying now i was talking about the substance wasn't i um demi moore um, takes this stuff thinking you know she's and you know all kudos to her she stood there totally naked I mean she's a woman of certain years um, 60 I think she is or 61 and um, she looks great she looks in good shape um, and she takes this stuff and she's waiting to change for her face to change or something but then she doubles up in agony falls on the floor and um, her back starts splitting open <laughs> yeah it's a bit like the alien scene with a chest burster but she's got this beautiful young girl who comes out of her back and they have of course she goes into like a they're symbiotic so she goes into like a sleep and the young girl has to feed her this substance to keep her alive and um and she and she has to do the same for the girl when it's her week and it's supposed to be one week on one week off kind of thing and the young girl goes and gets her job and um, becomes quite you know famous and uh, yeah things start going wrong because the young girl decides she wants to have an extra day and she's taking more stuff out of Demi Moore than she should so Demi Moore starts aging and oh it just it goes mad and <laughs> it's very good um, like I say it's very now it's how you know it's what started the me movement i think not well not really because that was about abuse but this is about abuse of a different type you know what i mean and the men in it are absolutely grotesque but yeah if you, if you don't like gore definitely not the film for you but it is a brilliant film we enjoyed it so what do you think of this girl in her beautiful scotty dog dress and with her gorgeous doggy here isn't he lovely i just love him i really do so thank you so much carrie Mwah. you all have a good rest of your day and i hope you enjoyed seeing sophie licious and and as many of you as cat you feel can or have things with pets on please join in with me take care everyone Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen.